Grade 7, The Valley of Fear by Arthur Conan Doyle, Act 1, Scene 3. For more videos on the same topic and many other play scripts and novels, please subscribe my channel, Learners on Board. Setting, 221B Baker Street, 1895, The Sitting Room. Characters, Sherlock Holmes, Dr. Watson, Inspector McDonald, Professor Moriarty, not physically present, Fred Pollock, not physically present, Mr. Douglas, not physically present. Summary, Holmes is an investigator. He is reading a ciphered message stating 534C213. He is suspecting Professor Moriarty and stating that he is controlling the power of the underworld. He is the schema of all time and the mind behind devilry. Watson calls him the Napoleon of crime. He has such a clever mind that he never leaves any proof against him. He is the controlling man of a chain of people including fighting men pickpockets, blackmailers, and criminals. They tend to decode the ciphered message. They tend to guess the book. Their first guess is Bible. But the idea gets rejected as the Bible's different editions have different pages. The second guess is Bradshaw, which is a railway timetable. This idea also gets rejected as the vocabulary is limited. So, a general message cannot be sent by it. Finally, the almanac is chosen. They are, able to de they are able to decipher the message. There is danger that may come to Douglas at Burlstone House, Burlstone Pressing. At the same time, MacDonald approaches and tells them that Mr. Douglas has been murdered. Now let's watch this video, which is uh, on the same scene when Watson and Sherlock Holmes receive a ciphered message. Tell me what you think of this. 534C213127. Uh, what is it? Uh, some sort of code? It is indeed, Watson. The work, no doubt, of my informant who works under the alias of Porlock. But surely it's not of much use sending a cipher to someone unless they have the key to the cipher. Do you have that? No, I don't. But this much I do know. The cipher is a reference to the words in a page of some book. Sherlock Holmes and Watson I learn discussing this page the cipher. Which book, I can do nothing. If it's a code based on a book, then why write Douglas and Burlston? Clearly because those are words which are not contained in the page in question. indicated the name of the book. Your native shrewdness, my dear Watson, that innate cunning which is the delight of your friend, would surely prevent you from enclosing a secret code and the key to it in the same envelope. I expect a message or perhaps even the book to arrive in the next mail. Watson sees that someone is coming. Well, he can see soon enough. The second veil has just been delivered. You're right, Holmes. This letter is in the same handwriting. This now they get another less to letter. The actions of such as Porlock when one is constantly at odds with some of the greatest criminal brains in the world. 
This is unfortunate. It is too dangerous for me to continue. I dare not contact you again. Burn the cipher message which can be of no use to you now. It's signed Fred Porlock. But why write a letter to tell us he will not give us the cipher? I would suggest it's because the people he's informed us of must be dangerous. Probably killers. website who built it no one it's just a five minute thing that i created with hokers no ah yes but which book there are a lot of books in this world quite so watson now they're trying but to we do know several decipher things the message the book. through books look here the message begins with a number five three four it is reasonable to take that as a page number so we have established that our book must have at least 534 pages and would therefore be a large book. And C2 would indicate chapter 2? The letter C surely cannot indicate a chapter. For one thing, if we are only in chapter 2 on they page think that 534, it's a then the first large chapter book, would be inordinately book. long. And for another, because the we number the page, of pages are, are the a chapter. lot of. 534. Uh, well, what does it refer to? It would be column 2. But you still don't know which book. The next highest number in the note is 293, so the book must have long columns to contain that number of words. As to the book itself, my dear Watson, had it been an unusual one, Paul Locke would have sent a copy to me. I therefore reason that it must be a very common book. Uh, uh, could it be the Bible? I doubt think that, that it may be there Bible? Are too many editions, too many shapes and sizes. But Bible has too many editions, ah, that's why they that? think that it's not that Bible. It? Excellent, Watson. Let's see if the message makes sense. There is danger. Finally, they have there deciphered the message. Is danger may come very soon. One Douglas, rich country, now at Bolston House, Bolston. Confidence is pressing. Oh, what a strange note. What does it mean? Thank you, Mrs. Hudson. Uh, Inspector MacDonald, very nice to see you. Good day, gentlemen. And what brings you to Baker Street, Mr. Mack? I need your help, Mr. Holmes. Look, this. Douglas. Wellston. That's witchcraft. Inspector MacDonald has arrived. That is the answer to a cipher that Dr. Watson and I have had occasion to solve. Your solution is correct. John Douglas of Barrelston Manor House was horribly murdered. Last night. He reveals that John Douglas of Burlston Manor has been murdered. It seems to me that all I have to do is to arrest him as an accessory, and he'll be forced to supply us with enough information to clear this case up. Quick, smart. No doubt, Mr. Mack. How do you propose to lay your hands on a man who disguises his writing, adopts an assumed name, gives no address, and posts his letters from Camberwell Post Office, one of the biggest in London? Uh, all right, then. What do you... He'll be forced to supply us with enough information to clear this case up. Quick, smart. It's time for a short quiz. You may answer this question in the comment box and you may also comment on your friend's answer. What do you think was Holmes trying to suggest by using phrase like the greatest schemer of all time, the organizer of all devilry, the controlling brain of the underworld, 
if you could add two more descriptions to Holmes' way of describing Moriarty, what would you add? Question number two. Why do Holmes and Watson think of the Almanac instead of any other book? For more videos on the same topic and many other novels and play scripts, please subscribe my channel, Learners on Board. Thank you.